Hello everybody, welcome back to HPM Mod. Last time we started working on getting to the end, and we also ended up fighting Mask Man, but it didn't go too well. So then we set it to peaceful mode, and then we vaporized Mask Man from existence, which is just like the cheesiest thing you can do. It's worse than actually cheesing the Mask Man fight, but I wasn't about to risk my stuff getting burnt, so... Um, yeah, you, you, can, you can clown on that if you want, but I don't really care. It's just that... Like, honestly, if you were in my shoes, would you want your stuff getting burnt? Well, I mean, probably not. It's probably not that fun to have your stuff just burnt. By a minor inconvenience. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take care of some stuff today. So, Lion's Time, we were working on making Ender Pearls. And to make Ender Pearls, you need a chem plant and some magic. And we have a chem plant, but we don't have magic. We just We're just unlucky like that. Well, we don't have magic yet, so we need a we need to get our magic right now. Ready, set, make the chemistry template for that Ender Pearl synthesis, which is this makes liquid Ender Pearl, which you can then put in a solidifier. So you need three diamond powder and a lot of experience juice, which we don't have experience juice, but we know where to get it from Glyphids, and so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're going to hunt down Glyphids. And I know that there's a lot of them out this way, probably. In fact, there's two nests right next to spawn. So, we're going to go to those nests, and we're going to go ahead and not clear them out for any particular fun reason. Uh, we're just clearing them out so we can make Ender Pearls. Which, I mean, I guess is fun. And on the way, if it happens to turn nighttime, we might just get our Ender Pearls without having to make them. But we're gonna still make these th last three. Like, it turned out that our Ender Portal and uh, End Portal frame had like one in it. And I thought, you know, I would be able to do it with six. Nah. Well, actually, I ended up with seven. But still, it had one in it. Like, how does that happen? Dude, there's another thing over there. We need to go to that. Because they can also carry the stuff that we're looking for. But it's kind of rare. It's kind of a toss up if you get it or not. So, we'll check it. Uh, this one might be an ore one. I'm not too sure. I don't think it is, actually. Because ore usually doesn't have, like, this core in the center. Usually it's just... I, that's just a meteor block. What? Okay, that's that explains it. It's just a block. There might be some treasure pieces in there. And if there is... It'll be on the bottom or the sides. Because we didn't mine those yet. I don't see any. Okay, well that's a disappointment. I really hate finding these in the ocean because you have to go underwater and then drown. Which is not fun. Because I don't like to drown. You know, the funny thing is that Mask Man didn't spawn in when I was underground. He spawned in while I was right in the middle of this. Like, how does this make sense? What? He's supposed to spawn when I'm underground, not when I'm working in the middle of a combination oven area where there is no underground. But also, let me go ahead and check my radiation meter to make sure that we haven't lost any radiation because sometimes it happens, which I don't know why it happens, but we I think we, we think it's because the one thing. First nest is dead ahead, and uh, we'll be up there in... Very shortly. There's a very good coordination stuff. Okay, let me go ahead and take care of this nest. Which is going to spawn in some glyphids. Right, but I'll be underneath the glyphids before they can even do anything. And check it out. Is there any bottles experience? But there's grenades here. Which I actually like these grenades. These are like the expensive kind of grenades. These are like the kind that you don't really want to make because they're pain. I like those grenades. You know, there is technically one other weapon we should make, which is the, uh, what is it called? Oh, hey, there's gonna be Endermen, isn't there? We might get lucky. We might find some Endermen, which would actually speed things up a lot. Are you guys the infected ones? Because I do not want to fight those guys. Those guys are actually the worst. Oh, he's gonna fall in here, isn't he? That would not be good. <laughs> It'd be fun if he blew up on the top of the nest, but if he follows us in, that's not great. We gotta get more of these eggs. 
unfortunately. It, it just really sucks to get the eggs. Okay, I think we're good. We'll just jump out now, and we'll be fine. Hold on, you can explode again now. <laughs> Look at that Glyphid suffering from the effects of that. <laughs> we just blew up their nest. Hooray. Now, another way you can get bottles of enchanting is probably from villagers from the priests. Because that's just a recipe I remember. I don't do much villager stuff. And the only reason I know the villagers are here, or even care about the villagers, is because eventually we might make an iron farm. But that's like, that's like the very last thing I want to do. If I do it. Like, I, I'm only going to do that. If there is no more iron... Or, no more hematite for me to mine. Which, I mean, that's gonna be pretty difficult. Because I got a lot of area I can blow up. Hang on. That, there was a guy over there. And I completely just walked past him. I almost missed this guy, but he's on the map. He's out this way. So we might have to do less work, which would be nice. Unless, he gives me two ender pearls. And then, then I won't have to do any work at all. It'll just be like one ender pearl worth, worth of work. Hey, get back here. Oh. Bruh. Okay, never mind. Turns out, I gotta do all the work now, still. So you need 15 bottles ex ex of experience for every three of these that you plan to make. And we are not at the point where we're gonna get 15 bottles of experience at... Well, I mean, I don't know if we're at the point yet that we'll have that. But we've already got three. There might be some in storage, which we should go check. Because I don't know... If I got any in storage, we'll check. But also, there's more Glyphids here. And I might want to check these guys as well. And climb over them in their nests. And then jump in their nests. Look at this, they can't damage me. They can't damage me, I'm too good. This armor is too powerful. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's worth it. His armor is worth it, is what I should be saying. Not that it's too powerful. <laughs> then, it's gonna get, then it's gonna end up getting, like... Super debuffed or something. <laughs> Bro, they're drowning. They're trying to swim here. Oh, look at this. We got a lot of eggs in this one. The more eggs, the better. Because we need eggs for making this stuff. And things. Oh, there's another nest. Hopefully those guys aren't infected. Because I will not fight the infected ones. But I will fight the rest of these guys. You all can just stop. That works really good, actually. Not sure why this is so good. Probably because it's 50 BMG. Which, I mean, I don't know how you get an M16 that fires that, but okay. Bruh, one of the Glyphids just stepped on a landmine. An AP landmine right next to the nest. Like, what the heck? How do you step on your own landmine, dude? How do you mess up that? Well, I've done that before, actually. That's not, that's not like a far stretch. That's, that's happened to me. I've stepped on my own landmine, which is not very fun, but it's hap it happens. Okay? It just happens. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Perfect. Where we gotta go next? This way? Zombies are the only thing that can actually damage me in this armor, which is... Weird. Because zombies, they actually... Well, it doesn't... That's not weird. Zombies do a lot of damage for some reason. And I don't know why, but they do, like, a lot of damage. Like, they will take you down to half your health and with two shots, or in one shot, actually. And in two shots, they'll kill you. I mean, it's just ridiculous. What? Like, you're all complaining modern Minecraft is hard. You just try playing 1.7, then you'll end up having to fight zombies that can two-shot you. <laughs> what? Oi! Come on. Give me that. That's my gravel, bro. Get back here. Bro's not ready for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. They're going to blow that stuff up. If I'm not careful. Hey, yo. Stop that. I need to throw some garbage on the ground because I have too much garbage. Okay. Ready for this? Skeleton duel. M16 wins every time. Trust me. Stop that. And you can stop that. And. Ender Pro. Perfect. Stab it. Alright, let's go ahead and see if I can get all the stuff we need from them. 30. 
30 is way more than I'm gonna need, so that is perfect. And I need actually 12 of these, so eight, then we need one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. And we're making Ender Pearl Juice. Which we can't actually extract from there. We have to put that in a barrel. Okay, then. So that will give us three Ender Pearls, which we probably don't need all three of them. But uh, it's nice to have them. Now let's see if we had any extra experience bottles. And it does... Wait, we might have some in this one. Or this one. This one. Yeah, no. Wait, what about this one? Nope, we don't got any. Okay. Well, it was, it's a nice fought. Alright, it's back to the nether. We gotta go get more of those, and then we gotta do the boss fight. Fun. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, this is what I expect. Like, gotta go fight the ender dragon, whatever. Which, we're not lava proof, so if we fall in lava, it's death. But, we are fireproof, so if we fall in lava, the fire is not gonna kill us afterwards. As long as we get out of lava in time. If that makes any sense. I mean, that does not make sense, but, I mean, it makes sense. Right? <laughs> Here I come for blaze rods. Give me them. Oh, yeah. How many we got? One of them. Which is all we need. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And all we got to do is get on that one and we should be able to make it back. Or actually, we don't even need to do that. We just got to go down this way and hopefully not fall in lava. But that's really easy. Check this out. Last episode, I mentioned that there's like this weird pathway. Where I can just legitimately climb all the way back to the nether portal. And just go around the entire fortress. And uh, this part's the dangerous part. Gotta go that way. Make sure not to fall in the lava. And then we're done. Alright, so we're going to the end now. <laughs> Finally. Which, I mean, why are we going to the end? Well, for trick sight, for one. But also because we failed to kill Mask Man. Mask Man, or whatever. So... Going to the end is just something we got to do at this point. And the fortress is also down this tunnel. So the other tunnel has human sight at the, or had human sight at the top. So I mined it all out. Now this tunnel uh, just exists. Actually, no, this one doesn't take us there. But it takes us in the same direction, I think. Unless I'm thinking of this tunnel. But I don't know. This tunnel does not take us there. Okay. So we have to go up a bit. Oh, okay. How many, how many floors? Is it? It's up that way. Okay. And if I'm right, this one will take us to an empty cavern. And from the empty cavern, we'll be able to just drop into this room, I think. The room is right here. Perfect! Oh, I should have made these into rods sooner. That would have probably sped things up a bit. Boom. One, two. This is the first time I'm fighting an... Ender Dragon, um, since, what, what version was that? 112. That would have been a mod pack that I don't even have the playlist listed for. So, that's <laughs> ages ago. Uh, December, or not December, 20-something. Oh, no, 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 I don't have blocks, dude. Dude, I don't have blocks. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Um, guys, I don't have blocks. I should have brought blocks. Uh-oh. That's really not good. I have chests. We'll use every block we can get. He doesn't attack till I get it here, right? This is not good. Wait. Hold on. Give me some of these. 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 Please just give me some of those. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh! I can't place it on the end of the chest, right? Okay, I need to build a staircase. Come on, give me more of them. There we go. <laughs> this is the most jankest start ever, but I am... Uh, let's not waste time. Let's get up here and get out our machine gun. Huh? Oh, there's, there's, there's creepers. I've never been to the end in HBM mod. By the way, so this is a completely new experience for me. Don't worry, because if I run out of ammunition, I don't have a crafting table, so I can't make more. <laughs> okay, that's going to be fun. I 
bet I can just shoot the Ender Dragon out of the sky, probably. I am also worried about the Enderman. It's gonna be an interesting fight for sure. We did not come prepared. Reload. Uh. Kachow. That took a lot of bullets. That I should not have spent so many bullets on that. That's two. The good thing is that you can never miss with this. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to climb that one. Oh, I should have brought a Carl Gustav in case we have to do... Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I do not want to make the Endermen super angry. Do not want to make them super angry. And you can't fight this guy again in this version. You can only fight him once. We knocked that off. Oh my gosh, look how much obsidian we're gonna get. That's the thing that it just made me think of it, is that we could probably farm the obsidian, but no, you can't in this version. You cannot farm the obsidian. You don't get it back. So, another thing I'm noticing is that on the minimap, this entire biome is gray. What is our Geiger counter telling us? It's not telling us anything, so I don't think we're taking any radiation. But it is just a weird biome to be in. <laughs> also, we're going to need to get some boxes here for getting the trick site. And doing stuff with the trick site. I want to do that tomorrow, though. Unless we get Mask Man to spawn in. But maybe I'll do it on my own. And then we'll, I'll show you all what I can do with the trick site. That would be perfect. I think everything is clear. And all I gotta do now is take out this guy. I did not come prepared, though. Well, I mean, we made the weapon, for sure. Uh, it does a lot of damage to him. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should have brought some fall resistance and stuff. Maybe some, uh... That does a lot of damage to him, but it's not enough. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Give me my chainsaw. Yeah, I mean, he's almost dead. I mean... <laughs> Bruh. That fight was way too easy, dude. Like, I was expecting to get flung off into the void earlier. Oh, I don't want to fall into that. Check out all the good stuff. Oh my. 60 levels that I'm never gonna use and I'm gonna probably die with. There's no way to spawn in the Ender Dragon again. So that is actually sad, but... There's also nothing else here besides this one island. Because it's 1710. So you only get this one island worth of trick site. Oh, dang. I mean, you get a lot of Ender Pearls, though. And there's a lot of stuff here. I think if we silk touch the trick site ore, we can actually mine this and not worry about radiation. And I think that is the case. So we will mine a bunch of this and I'll see you all when I get back. These guys aren't actually that bad. Like, they're not annoying. They just make a bunch of chlorine gas. Okay, so it makes more sense to get the actual asteroid mining ship than to actually come to the end. Like, while you can get the stuff from the end manually, you cannot get a lot of it. You can only get, like, a small amount before you eventually run short on this stuff. Because there is not a lot of stuff here. I mean, it'd be nice if the end island got, like, extended. But I don't think... I mean, it is pretty big. I don't... I think I've ever played on the Xbox World where the uh, end island is this big, so. But this is really small, and there's not much here. So the dimension is listed as sky in this version, which is weird. Okay, so I have cleared that and made it safe to travel on. All I'm gonna do now is just go, and then we'll process what we have. Uh, there's a little bit more here. I might as well get some of this. Perfect, and uh, that should be all the surface stuff. There is more inside the core, so if you dig down and you just find it, you'll find more. There's also those crystals that we saw. The infamous endgame text here. I'm finished. What do I do? Hit escape? Oh, it's start button. So, trick site can be processed in several different ways. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that can be processed through. Do, 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 do. What is it called? The centrifuge. 
the Silex, and Electrolysis, so it can be processed all of these ways. Main thing is Niobium, Cobalt, and Nitanium Blend. Doing it that way. Centrifuge also gives you Niobium. Wait, does it give you the exact same stuff? In each of them? Because that would be... Electrolysis gives you straight and gets it plutonium and four of cobalt. Okay, but the centrifuge gives you two for everything and three for cobalt, which is better to, better to electrolyze it. So we're not going to process that today, but that is something cool to have. We just got our first trig site, 46 ore, which I mean, that's 46 crystals worth. A lot more than I would get from the other thing. These can store a lot of energy, and you can also make this... The Hardened Terra Drill, which I don't think I'm going to make. Because I, I would have made it already, probably, the original. Main thing is, though, the Niobium. It allows us to make so many capacitors now, and other things. So, 